Hi, this is Heather with Care2, and I'm standing next to Senator Ken Salazar of Colorado, which of course is where we are right now. We're in the great city of Denver. And Senator Salazar, thanks for taking a couple minutes to talk with me and the Care2 audience today. What's it like to have the Democratic National Convention in your home state? It is phenomenal. Uh, it is absolutely phenomenal to be able to host the National Democratic Convention right here in the grandeur of the Rockies a place where I think the next president is going to be chosen and it's going to be right here in Colorado because of the kind of work that we're doing. So just uh, uh, you know, a, almost a euphoric, thrilling feel, feeling that we're doing it here in Colorado. Can you tell me a little bit about the sort of shift in the evolution in Colorado in the last, say, 10 years in terms of the politics in this state? Obviously, you've, you've been very attuned to it and you've very effectively tapped into sort of the changing nature of the demographics and, and how people here in the Rocky Mountain West feel about particular issues? You know, it's been phenomenal. You know, I took the oath of office for Attorney General in 1999 and I was the only Democrat elected to any statewide office and all of our, both of our senators are Republican. We've changed that around dramatically uh, beginning on that day and moving forward to 2002, 2004, 2006 and uh, we are making a difference and really I think there are two reasons for it. Uh, one is uh, that the demographics of Colorado have changed. We've gone from 3 million people in 1990 to 5 million now in 2008. And second of all, I think that we have been able to recruit candidates to run for office who are uh, pragmatists, who are practical people, who want to make sure that what we do is uh, we get to results on the issues that affect people as opposed to fighting uh, in the extremes of uh, the wedge politics of the Republican Party. And I think even Republicans have uh, gotten to the point where uh, they're tired of, uh, they're sick and tired of uh, the destructive uh, divisions uh, in our country and want us to move forward in a more united way to resolve issues on energy and the new energy frontier, healthcare, uh, access to higher education, and so many other issues that are fundamental to quality of life for the people of this country and this globe. You just touched on uh, the energy independence issue, and I know that's a really big issue here in the state of Colorado, and I know you've done a lot of work on that issue in the United States Senate. Can you talk a little bit about the sort of emerging uh, issue as we're sort of combining the old environmental uh, you know, constituency with the sort of jobs, which of course economic security is a really big issue this year in the election? You know, I think the new energy frontier has uh, so much promise and we see here in Colorado that we've gone from 100 uh, renewable energy companies two years ago to where we now have uh, a thousand renewable energy companies. We have uh, companies that are creating jobs as we harness the power of the wind and the power of the sun and the power of biofuels. You know, I think we're going to grow our weight to energy independence and I think through technology we're going to be able to address uh, the fundamental values and issues which are at stake here which are one national security to our environmental security and dealing with the issue of global warming and three economic opportunity here at home. Great. I have one last question for you, which is the Care2 audience were very active, very grassroots oriented folks who like to take action and make a difference in the world. What can Care2 members do to help progressive agenda in the fall in 2009? You know, the, the millions of people who are part of Care2 just need to get involved. Uh, they need to get educated com and uh, about the issues and talk to their neighbors. You know, for example, there are many uh, members of CARE2 I know that are out there in rural America. Many of them uh, at this point are saying we ought to vote for John McCain. Well, I think what they ought to do is to study the issues. Who's been a champion of uh, rural economic revitalization? It has been Barack Obama. Okay, John McCain has opposed us every step of the way. Who's been the champion of our renewable energy world, including making sure that the tax incentives are there for harnessing the power of the sun as we're doing so well here in Colorado today? Well, Barack Obama has championed that agenda. John McCain has been on the other side. So I think people need to educate themselves about the issues and then go out and convince their neighbors that they ought to be voting for Barack Obama. Senator, thanks so much for your time. Have a great time with the rest of the convention. Thank you very much. Thanks.